If you want to be seated, please. <laughs> a marriage may only take place in a building which has been registered. And this place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> Although the civil ceremony is simple and without ritual, the vows that Ahmad and Danny will make are solemn and binding. This is a day they will remember all their lives. And you are all here to share their joy, to wish them well, and to make this a happy and a memorable day for them. For Ahmad and Danny, getting married today is a confirmation of the love, respect, and friendship that they have for each other. Maybe. 
the sun bring you new happiness by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries and the breeze blow strength into your being. I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I, Ahmad Zuhair Wana why I, Ahmad Zuhair Wana may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Danielle Wilcox to Danielle Wilcox I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I, Danielle Wilcox why I, Danielle Wilcox may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Ahmad Zuhair Wana to Ahmad Zuhair Wana who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do okay, if you want to come forward there Call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Ahmad Zuhair Wana, to witness that I, Ahmad Zuhair Wana, do take thee, Danielle Wilcox, do take thee, Danielle Wilcox, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. Call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Danielle Wilcox, to witness that I, Danielle Wilcox, do take thee, Ahmad Zuhair Wana, do take thee, Ahmad Zuhair Wana, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> Some say love is a river that drowns the tender root. Some say love is a razor that leads your soul to bleed. Some say. Love is a hunger, an endless aching need. I say love is a flower, and you its only seed. It's the heart afraid of breaking that never learns to die. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A married couple are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. Now Ahmad and Danny have chosen to exchange rings and make promises to each other. So can I ask Ed to bring the rings forward, please? Okay, Ed, if you want to give our love down this ring first. If you want to put some to dance here. Danny, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to laugh with you in joy. I promise to laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to cherish and respect you always. And to cherish and respect you always. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to laugh with you in joy. I promise to laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to cherish and respect you always. And to cherish and respect you always. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. The tradition of giving rings is an outward sign to the world of your marriage. It symbolizes your love for each other and is a reminder in the years to come 
are the important step you have taken today. And on wedding day and every day thereafter, may your home be filled with happiness and your hearts with love and laughter. May each new year together find you more and more in love and bring you all the happiness that you're so deserving of. May the joy of true companionship be yours to share through life and may you treasure always the day you became husband and husband. So we would all like to wish you a long and happy marriage. Try to be patient and kind to one another in times of trouble. Keep a sense of humour. And if you do have disagreements, don't be too proud to say sorry. Take care of each other always. So Ahmad and Danny, you have both made the declarations required by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses here assembled. So it therefore gives me great pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife. You may now have kiss you. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hey, it's a take no more, no more. It 
cannot wait I'm yours Just to try to see it clearer But my breath fogged up the glass And so I drew a new face And I laughed I guess what I'll be saying is There ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanities And just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue But I won't hesitate No more, no more It Cannot wait I'm yours Open up your mind And see like me Open up your plans And damn you're free I know it's you your heart And you find it The sky is yours So please don't Please don't Please don't There's no need to complicate Cause our time is short This
Banana is in the house tonight. <laughs> and what about the bridesmaids? They all look absolutely stunning and beautiful today. Yeah. In the dream.
I know they've all travelled with Danny on the journey. Sorry. With Danny on the journey since they were kids, terrorising me and the mum. I know whichever path they take, they will always be, there, always be there for each other. And now to the bride, Danielle. How beautiful does Danielle look tonight? Yeah. Danny was born the red one out, out of the twins. <coughs> a lot of you might not know what that's about. And for the first 15 years of her life, she used to terrorise me with Natalie. Whether it was deciding to paint the inside of Charlie's fence, shed, which she blind blank denied, <laughs> even though she, she was covered in paint, to spending hours up in A&E &A after Natalie whacked around the head with an ashtray, <laughs> which was also denied. <laughs> to drive into Coventry in thick fog when I couldn't see 10 metres in front of my face because she wanted to do football training. I was always terrorised when they were children. Dan, from when you walked into nursery school to the day you graduated in Liverpool, you've done nothing but make us proud. You've worked hard to be where you are today, and now you work even harder to get where you want to be in life. <laughs> You've done it all with an effort and determination no one can beat, and I'm sure all your pupils will be proud of you, Miss Wanna. <laughs> you will always be my Dan Dan birdie. I love you, Dan Dan. And I've got to shout out a special mention to the uni girls. <laughs> because I, I've been told, if I don't, Rachel's dad's a copper. <laughs> so, thanks for all making the effort to travel down here today. I would now like to welcome Arvid into my family. From when he found me to ask for Danny's hand, I knew how much he cared for her. And I know we were carry on caring for her. Sorry. Well, no, we will carry on caring for her. Well, you better. <laughs> I could tell when I first met him what a nice man he was. Polite, kind, and a gentleman. I doubt I could find anyone better to look after my daughter. I know with a bit of commitment, hard work, and laughter, you will still be growing chilies together on the balcony until old age. <laughs> That's unless you get an allotment. <laughs> As a babe, we sing your lullabies, so proud of our sweet girl, so hopeful for your future, Dan, wishing you the world. So keen to help you always, yet aware right from the start, one day you'd find your soulmate, someone to share your heart. Armin has your hand in marriage now, companionship each day, a loving wife to share his life in every single way. From this day forth, you will spread your wings, a new ch chapter has begun. But we haven't lost a daughter. No, today we've got the son. Oh. United, you'll take on the world, chase your dreams together, make kaleidoscopes of memories, and cherish them for forever. We know that you'll always be there for him, as he'll be there for you. You'll always be our little girl. We'll always be there too. <laughs> to the rest of their happy lives together. Danny and Armin. Danny and Armin. Right, I'll pass you on to Armin now. Thank you. On behalf of my wife and I. Yeah! I'd like to welcome all of our guests from far and wide. We even have a few Olympians in the crowd today. Thank you for spending the day with us 
it wouldn't be the same without you all here. The Zephyr was something to remember. It's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, I'll, you don't need a sauna when you have a Zephyr. <laughs> I'd like to thank Danny's family for welcoming me, me in and making me feel at home with them. They're a really great bunch who are caring and open, qualities that have clearly been passed down to my wife. Yeah! To both sets of parents, thank you for raising us, steering us as much as you could onto the right road through life. We're here because of all you've done for us, so thank you. Organising a wedding is of course a big task, and by the look of it, it's going okay so far. So thank you for all of those involved from everything, from dress shopping to tying the beautiful favours. And in particular, a special thanks to my mum, who's worked tirelessly on all the little details that make a wedding special. I'd also like to mention the family who couldn't be with us here today. We're thinking of you. So I'd like to take a toast to the families. There's a large group of girls responsible for taking Danny away on four additional separate <laughs> endings, which also deserve a mention. The uni girls. The petals. And of course, the bridesmaids. Yes, you all heard me right. That's five Hindus in total. It's a testament to how caring and considerate a group that Danny has around her that they organise such wonderful and enjoyable weekends for her, all as surprises. Although she suspected, I was asked to sleuth her commitments and book out her calendar for Hindus twice. All of my friends, and in particular Scrim, Thank you for all you've done in the background and for taking me on a magic carpet ride to Berlin for the stag. The less said about that, the better. And now to my bride. Yay! My wife. Yay! She's been getting more and more excited lately about Arabic phrases like the bride is very pretty. Or words like Habibti, Golbi and Ariz that she's been hearing on a few of the Arabic songs. She overheard my grandmother on the phone asking, Shlon her halwa? Is she pretty? And she understood. I'm sure you'll all agree he a kullish halwa today. Nothing. Nothing could have prepared me for what I saw when she walked down the aisle. What a fantastic dress. Thank you for marrying me, Danny. You've made me a happy man today and for a lifetime to come. As Danny's family and friends can attest, I've never known someone as selfless and caring as Danny. It genuinely brings her joy to help others and see others happy. She'll lend out her brand new clothes, give away the last tea bag in the box, or give you her, the last roller in the pack. That's one of the many reasons I love her. That said, there is a fiery, driven side to her. <laughs> when her mischievous alter ego, Libby, comes out. <laughs> when it really matters, Libby gets her way. She genuinely keeps a rounders bat in the boot of her car. <laughs> so just before I hand over to the best man, Scrim, who I hope will be kind, I'd like you to charge your glasses and be upstanding. May we enjoy the journey of life together as husband and wife, and to all and all of the adventures that it will throw at us. To our adventure. First of all, I'm honoured to be able to say a few words here today. Everyone has put on a good show, so thanks everyone for making it happen. Ahmad, Danny is brilliant. She looks fantastic today, 
and you both look delighted. So congratulations to you both. Also, oh my mate, you're punching with your weight, so. <laughs> so let me bring you on to introducing you to the legend that is Ahmad Wanner. <laughs> Some of you may have known Ahmad for much longer, but my first encounter with the legend was when we met in year seven at Five Ways School. <laughs> He scrubs up well today, but please believe me when I say this isn't, hasn't always been the case. <laughs> Over the years, he has experimented with a range of different facial and hairstyles. Some have been hit, some have been missed. But luckily for you, he got rid of the unibrow for today. <laughs> I'd also like to apologise, Danny. This isn't the first time Armand has been successful with the ladies. He cleared up his sixth form with his gangster swagger and more, more importantly his signature catchphrase. Picture this, a packed assembly hall full of two entire girls' school sixth forms. A situation Ahmed used to refer to as water wall fitties. And an opportunity which would not present itself soon again. Ahmed saw his moment, found a reason to get on stage, grabbed the microphone and shouted a well-known, popular rap lyric. G unit. Of course, it was very awkward. And any lesser guy would have been not bad by this. But we're talking about the legend of Ahmad Wanna. At university, Ahmad decided to up his game, take a more sophisticated approach and make friends in a more grown-up way. He selected his best skin-tight t-shirt, ironed his orange jeans, secured them with a belt attached with his signature style to the side, groomed his unibrow, one final glance in the mirror, and then watered the plants. <laughs> he strutted like he only pla owned the place into the student union. There he sailed effortlessly from new acquaintance to new acquaintance, charming them with his wit, and then finally sealing the deal by handing them a business card. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think we're all here today to celebrate two people that have been loved. Ahmad's my mate and Danny has made him really happy, and that's obvious. I feel like I've known Danny for a lot longer than I have. They obviously have a lot of fun together and are supportive of each other, which is what really matters. And that's where I'd like to finish. So to the happy couple, I would like to propose a toast. In Arabic, I think it's Tuel Saha. <laughs> So to Mr. and Mrs. Waller, to El, Saha, and cheers.
Yeah, we have drinks. <laughs> <laughs> we have drinks. <laughs> <laughs> we have drinks. <laughs> 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 okay, no, you can do it. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. It's been filled with glasses. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, three, two, one. Cheers! 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 Yeah, congratulations, Armin and Danny. Uh, it's on. I think it's on. Uh, congratulations. Uh, cheers. Have a good life together. Um, you guys make an amazing couple. I know you have an amazing life together. And um, yeah, we're just welcome to the gang. Guys. Are we doing, are we doing another one? Cheers. <laughs> I'll join you guys there shortly. We wish you all the absolute luck, happiness, love, health, wealth in the world. You deserve it more than anything because we are. I literally them two having a conversation, Dad. You're going to book your funeral this afternoon. <laughs> uh, Danny, I mentioned, I mentioned you in my speech earlier on, Les. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, um, you didn't say that I was, you didn't tell them that, that I would choose me, mate. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, uh, 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 a bit different to that. But <laughs> he said that you had to be included because you was a copper. Yeah. And that was it, <laughs> honest. No, Rachel had to be included. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd say to me. <laughs> this is our cold times, isn't it, Dad? All we need now, all we need now, is Natalie to start a fight, and then we can all yeah, go yeah, in. we can all jump. All of us can go knocking in, Dad. We. It's, it's, it's all right, right? It's a bit like old times, except it's not raining, and we're not stood on a touchline arguing the toss with the referee. Les, Les, I remember that one you had on Dave Bilbo. I remember it. I told you back, mate. I told you back. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, I, when I told when I told the linesman from uh, I, I think it was um, Levington that I was going to push the flag where the sun doesn't. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the, and the bloke from Wolverhampton when I was kicking off, and he got the ball in his hand and it looked like an egg. <laughs> and I sort of sort of stepped back. No, mate, no. Uh, look after you, mate, honestly. Once honestly. this goes public, you'll get sacked. <laughs> legend, mate, legend. We anyway, love, we love you, Dan. Danny, Armin, have a nice. brilliant night. Catch up with you later. Okay, Liz. Top. Okay. Armin and Danny, we love you. This is from the old Villa crew, Bilbo, Kaza, the lot. Not the dickheads, the, the, good, <laughs> the good ones. This is from the Villa under 14s, Dan and Ahmed. That, that's it. On your touchline, Danny, when you never... Dan, this message here is for when you never kept your line properly because you has been never got back in time. And I told you this. Class. I would have never have took her off. You know I would never have taken her off. It was Bilbo's fault. Yeah. All Bilbo's fault. Political. Bilbo's Too fault. political. Les, I'll see you later. All right, take it. Legend, mate. Up Speak to you later, mate. Up the villa, Dan. See you later. 
why do I need to do this because Dean said I didn't have the bottle. So here is my bra. So that's Lovely. what I'm about to do. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey Petal. Petal! It's your wedding! It's Happy wedding day. day! We're having the most wonderful time. And you are as well. Yeah, we're not really sure what to say. No, we don't know what to do. But you're married! You're married now! I'm married. Marijuana, <laughs> and it's amazing and we love you and we love you both so much. And and happy wedding and marriage and, and all of the above and everything. Happy and adventure. We'll be there. Ditto. We'll be there for all of it. And so will these. We days. love you. We love. Cheers, bye bye, and I'm mad. Mm -hmm. Do you know I'm mad? We just want to say that we are absolutely privileged to be a part of a special day today, especially me as a bridesmaid. Um, honestly, don't think there's a better couple suited to each other than you two are. We know you'll have a fantastic life, happy memories and adventures together. So, we love you both loads. Cheers. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I'm um, just a little message to say to you on our wedding day. Um, so far it's been the day of our lives. So much stress, worry, thought has gone into it. But I think and I hope that you think the same, that it's all been worth it and this is just the start of the next chapter and I can't wait for what it's got to bring. Hi Dan Dan. Thanks for saying yes today. You've made me a happy man. Hopefully for today and for the rest of our lives together. I can't wait to go on loads of holidays, travel the world, do lots of adventurous things with you. Thank you for being my wife.
and I will feel alright. Say it. Let's get together and feel alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let them all pass all their dirty remarks. There is one question I'd really love to ask. Who has hurt all mankind? Just a savers own believe one love. What about one heart? One heart. What about a Let's little? Let's get together and feel alright. As it was in the beginning, one love. So shall it be in the end. One heart. Alright. Thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will be. is only I'm a giddy young one love. so when the man comes there will be no no do have pity on those whose chances grow ten there ain't no hiding place from the father of creation yeah, yeah. one love what about the one best watching rainbows play on sunlight pools of water iced from cold nights in the morning tis the morning of my life in the daytime I will meet you as before You will find me Waiting by the ocean floor Building castles In the shifting sands In a world That no one understands In the morning Tis the morning of my morning of my life In the morning of my life The minutes take so long to drift away Please be patient with your life It's only morning and you still to live your day In the evening, I will fly you to the moon, to the top right hand corner of